Good morning or good afternoon wherever you are in the world. This is Kimberly with Adelante Abroad continuing our webinar series where we answer your questions. So one question that we get quite a lot is should I travel within my travel? Should I travel abroad when I'm doing my study abroad or intern abroad experience? And our answer is 100% unequivocally yes. Who knows when you're ever going to be in this part of the world again. So while we are not huge fans of, you know, accruing a lot of credit card debt, this is one time in your life where it's okay to do that a little bit because again, who knows when you're ever going to, if ever, be in this part of the world again. So our tips are, depending on the length of your program, plan at least one trip. If you're doing a one month intern abroad or study abroad, do it, plan in your mind at least one weekend trip where you're taking um, public transportation like a train or a bus or cheap flights from wherever your program city is abroad. Um, that's our, our, our advice for a one month program is try to pre-plan it. If you're going for longer, which we hope you are of course, plan it in your mind, like have it in your mind that you're going to do that, but I wouldn't book too much prior to arrival because things change when you're over there and a lot of the shorter trips you can book the same day. So if you're going for two months or longer, our, our advice is still definitely travel within your study and intern abroad program, but plan it when you get over there. Um, if you're going to Europe, there are very cheap airlines and um, train and buses are a huge option everywhere you go, South America, Europe, Asia. Um, when you're longer programs, we want you to maybe try to travel with somebody that you meet while you're over there and or if you are traveling alone, it's okay, but while you're over there, you can talk to locals and find out better places to go. So um, we feel that you should definitely plan on traveling within your travel abroad. Um, try to use public transportation. If you're only going for one month, kind of book it in advance. Figure out what one weekend you can do that and book it in advance. If you're going for longer, much better. Wait till you get over there. Try to find somebody to go with. It's okay if you can't. We believe that alone travel is okay too, as long as you have common sense. And you know, we have a whole other webinar on that. Um, and it's better if you can wait to get over there because you might, number one, meet somebody that could go with you if you choose to do that. And number two, talk to locals and figure out the best places to go. So our advice is definitely go. Um, there are cheap hostel accommodations you can use to mitigate the cost. There are cheap public transportation options in almost in, in, uh, certainly all of our program cities. And um, you just kind of might, you know, your wide surroundings, you, you feel like you're kind of overwhelmed in your new city, but, but a bus ride away might be a whole nother culture and you would just hate to miss that. So, um, pack a little kind of back, a bigger backpack inside of your duffel, planning on that travel within your travel, definitely. Thank you so much and until next time, this is Kimberly with Adelante Abroad.